This is a pretty interesting sum where they are asking us to find half of 8 to the power of 8. So let's check out how we can do it. So here we have each to the power of 8. First, let's rewrite it in the easiest or the simplest form. So instead of 8, I can write 8 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So that is 2 to the power of 3. So I can replace that 8 and I can write 8 to the power of the 8 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8. So that would be 2 to the power of 24 because 8 to the power of m to the power of n is equal to 8 to the power of mn. We know this identity. So we have to find half of it. So we'd need to divide it by 2. So I can uh, write the final answer as 2 to the power of 24 divided by 2. So that would be equal to 2 to the power of, now since there is no power here, the power would be 1. So it would be 2 to the power of 24 minus 1. So that is 2 to the power of 23. The identity used here is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So this is the final answer that we would be looking for. Now you can punch it in your calculator and get the final answer, the actual figure. However, this one would be more than enough. If you found this video interesting, please like it and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to the Learners Academy for more such videos where we learn to solve maths in easiest and funniest ways. Let's change your attitude towards solving maths one sum at a time.